it's Becca and welcome to the Carriage House, a little place to find cozy inspiration for your hearth and home. Today I'm going to be doing a little Irish and St. Patrick's Day decorating in our little farmhouse kitchen on the northern plains of Iowa. I actually was able to get out of the house after my doctor's appointment last week and did a little bit of shopping at Hobby Lobby. So it was really nice just to get out of the house for a little while, get some fresh air, and buy just a few little things to brighten up our kitchen during the month of March. I'll also be making warm Irish soda bread muffins. And then for dinner, I'm going to make a cockaliki soup, which is actually a Scottish, a Scottish soup that um, consists of leeks, homemade pepper chicken, and pitted prunes. And it is so surprisingly delicious. So I'm so glad you're here with me today and have stopped by for a visit. So first I'm going to light a few candles and make a cup of warm chamomile and lemon tea. My dear sister from Tennessee sent me a care package with a, a beautiful mug and candle holders, cozy socks and a blanket, homemade soap made from goat's milk, and just lots of other little things. So I was really excited and humble to receive this from her. So now that the warm chamomile and lemon tea has been made, I'm going to start preparing my leeks for the cockaliki soup. I need to slice them and put them in a bowl of water for a little while. There tends to be a lot of sand in leeks, so this will help ensure that all of that will be washed away. And then while those are soaking, I'm going to start decorating for good old St. Patrick's Day.
now I'm going to make these easy and delicious Irish soda bread muffins. Now all I'm doing is adding two and one fourth cups of King Arthur gluten free flour. You can certainly use regular flour if you want. Two teaspoons of baking powder, a fourth of a teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of salt, a third of a cup of sugar, and one and a half cups of currants. Now I could not find currants so I used raisins instead, but currants are classically used in an Irish soda bread. And you can always add caraway seeds as well to make it more traditional. And then I mixed all these dry ingredients together and then in another bowl I'm going to mix two large eggs six tablespoons of melted butter that's been cooled because you don't want to scramble your eggs and then one cup of full fat yogurt and using a full fat yogurt will yield a much more tender muffin and then gonna mix everything together place in a little muffin tin that's been greased and then bake into a 400 degree oven for about 18 minutes or until they're absolutely perfect but I really hope you're enjoying your visit so far and after this we're gonna move on to the sweet and savory cockaleeky Scottish soup. <laughs> 